10-ish questions to ask your spray foam contract. Uh, number one, what type of training do your installers receive? Uh, we do continuous training at FLC Energy, so that means CEUs on an annual basis, uh, means attending conferences on an annual basis, uh, but that also means staying up to date on safety equipment, staying up to date on best practices, um, staying up to date on equipment and different types of spray foam that are available and on the market. Um, all of these things go into making sure that you're doing the right application on the job site because although we buy the spray foam from a manufacturer, we are the ones who actually create the spray foam that is manufactured and exists within your home for the lifetime. Number two, how do you monitor health and safety during and after a project? Well, we do that in a couple of ways. Um, negatively pressurizing the workspace with a fan that is creating air exchanges by sucking air out of the workspace and bringing fresh air in. Uh, we also positively pressurize the air that's going into the applicator's lungs via a positive pressure uh, face mask. Um, in some cases, it might also mean that a project needs to remain occupant free for, for at least 24 hours after the work is done. It's a case-by-case -case basis, and each project is a little bit different, um, but all of these things need to be considered um, when you're moving forward with a spray foam project. Number three, are you bonded and insured? With FLC, yes. If you choose us, we're bonded, and we also have a $1 million per occurrence policy for insurance. Number four, do you carry workers' compensation insurance? Um, you may not know this, but if you have a contractor working on your house and they do not have workman's comp, if somebody gets hurt on your property, they can sue you and you will be responsible for paying. Would you like to accept charges? Um, five, do you acquire permits if they're necessary? We do acquire permits, usually not applicable for most of the applications that we're working in, but say you have a crawl space that's in a flood zone or maybe you're along one of the beach towns and Ocean City or Rehoboth, Fenwick, Bethany. Those places, a lot of them do require permits for this type of work. Um, and so yes, in those cases, we will get those permits and obtain them for you. And then deal with the inspection process as well. Number six, do you subcontract out any of your work? Uh, we do not subcontract our work. We do everything in-house. The only thing that we sub out is electric, HVAC, and plumbing. And uh, those are contractors that we work with uh, <laughs> on a daily basis almost. Um, the people that we know personally um, use them in our own homes and um, would refer them in any capacity anyway. Number seven, how do you ensure the insulation is properly installed? Um, we take pretty meticulous notes on job sites. Uh, so that's measuring the temperature, the humidity in the air, but also on the substrate as well, um, the moisture content in the wood, um, documenting all of that, keeping records of the batch numbers on the spray foam that we use. And truth be told, yes, we have had errors in the past. Um, issues do arise, um, but you learn from those mistakes. Uh, you ensure that they don't happen again, and um, you take care of the problems um, when inevitably they happen as a contractor. Um, part B to, to number seven on that is um, the QC process and blower doors. Um, so when we're doing spray foam, we're also coming back in and doing quality control inspections of the work that we do. Um, we're also doing blower door tests with thermal imaging cameras. So we can make sure that if we encapsulate an attic, we didn't miss any of the areas around the perimeter um, where we might still have leaks occurring. And so all that stuff can be tested, double checked, verified, and proved to you that we've done what we said we were gonna do. Number eight, do you install ignition barriers? There are gonna be some applications where an ignition barrier is going to be a necessity. Um, an ignition barrier would be drywall over top of spray foam in some applications, but if it's going to remain exposed, like in a commercial setting, um, it needs to be covered with a fluid applied ignition barrier. We use a product called DC315. Um, we apply it with a paint sprayer, and so that allows the material to remain exposed, and it's basically a, a fireproof coating over it. Number nine, 
How do you handle issues or concerns that inevitably come up on, on job sites? Um, I think the best way to do that is being fully transparent from the start about the process. Um, you do this kind of work long enough, things happen. And we have had things happen on job sites, things go wrong, it's, it's the nature of the beast. However, um, if there is an issue and it's a result of the work that we do, we will fix it, no questions asked. Um, I've had issues on job sites and a lot of those people have, have come back to be our, our greatest supporters because, um, you know, things happen, but how you, how you resolve those situations is really what matters. Number 10, what is it that sets FLC apart from everyone else? Um, I really believe it is a commitment to excellence. Um, it's maintaining best practices. It's going back when you screw up and, and make mistakes. Um, it is a commitment to making sure that the customer is pleased with the project after things are done, communication. It's all of those things. Um, it is my intention and the intention of everyone else that uh, works in this organization to, to be the best at what we do. Um, and that's an approach we take on a daily basis. Ten and a half. Do you offer rebates? Um, FLC Energy does. Because we're a home performance contractor, because of the third party oversight that we have and the performance and the programs that we work in for, uh, for the state of Maryland and for the state of Delaware, we can offer rebates on the work that we do. Um, now there's some additional stuff that goes into that, an energy audit, a little bit of additional paperwork, and then a test out. But those are things that we're generally doing on every, any project anyway. Um, and so we offer those to probably 90% of our customer. And if it's an opportunity for you to have a rebate on your project, we will certainly bring it up. If you have more questions, um, if there's something we didn't answer, something we didn't cover, uh, something you, you want us to cover more in depth, then please leave a, uh, leave a message in the comments. Um, let us know and I will get to it and we'll make sure that we answer your questions.